We're ready for action here at the Norfolk Arena with uh, the annual Unlimited National Bangers starting off their Nutcracker with two back-to-back -back heats. And Mr. Starter, over to you. Let's get the Unlimited National Bangers on their way. So, green flag is out on circuit. We go racing for the first time on Unlimited National Bangers for heat number one. So early draws out, Tom Waller in 209, nails 411, Chucky's mark 2 hurts. So the rest of that early pilot has given himself cleared. So everyone just about sorted themselves out, 27 now. Is that the one the ball will want that uh, appears to be out of the action there with the uh, problems he's getting inflicted on himself in the early moments? Three line to give up in trouble as well as uh, a big one goes in there and that's Mouse in 273 and went through the back wheel of the uh, spinning jack 747 Liam Hart. Five one two uh, dropping out of the running of this one Lewis Hartley as well in the uh, fresh Lexus. But the Wonder Boy is rejoining in 27. Barry Oldham in 372, he's been in the fence and pulled the wheel back on the super, but he manages to limp on as Joe Lowell in 19 gets to take around down there and into turn three. So the rest of them sliding from Kieran Cratchit there being caught out and sent a little bit sideways as 22. Vincent roars through. The Wonder Boy's gone round down there, 372 over, and then comes to a stop. And then goes the other nose, and here comes Waller. Waller with another big hit to end this race, but I think he's done himself more damage in that one. But a big shot to on that Barry Overland in the 372 machine. So the Wonder Boy's still stranded in the action there. 5-1-3, Shaggy there in that, and another Lexus from the shot as he's uh, a little bit caught out and manages to get himself back on the, the right path. So 2 7 3 Mouse still leading the way in the current stage as 27 of the ball recovers his beamer up to the centre. We think of 106 Kieran Pratchett from the glance and running in second place and more of them getting caught out now they're at the end of the back straight. The leader, the leader goes in on that five on three Shaggy and takes himself around. So 148 Shorty now leading the way from 273, the recovered mouse who gets back in in second place. Malarkey once again in trouble down there on the entrance to turn number three and that's uh, the point of the circuit that's proving the most tricky. The sheltered uh, area on, under the grandstand down the back straight uh, is uh, a little bit damper than the rest of the circuit. And as we can see drivers getting down there into turns one or two perfectly okay but uh, just a little bit more slippery and deceptive uh, for those uh, going down there at the end of the back straight. 589 Simon Smith then uh, gliding his Volvo estate down through the roadside turn there. Shorty goes through with three to run next time round as Polly Reed gets it all sideways. Ash Bell there in 81 in the uh, rather cool uh, second outing for the Volvo 262 Coupe. And he uh, keeps it circulating. And Joe 90 has gone down there and gets a big one in the front wheel from 513 Shaggy. And 19 dovetoe Joe in with a big hit uh, on that uh, Shaggy in the 513 machine. So plenty uh, taking place down there. And Malarkey still trying to get himself back on the move, and indeed he makes it uh, back uh, on to the centre there and rejoin the action. Joe 90 also uh, makes it onto the centre, but I think he's going to play no further part in this race. But Malarkey is regaining the track, and he's certainly going to go for a finish in this one. Mouse still in a decent place, he's in two minds as to whether to go for the hit there or uh, try and keep racing on. And he opts for the race on, not option that time round, but it's shorty yet uh, coming through now. The closing stages of Heat the Ball in the Unlimited National Baggers this afternoon. 
Richard to help find out Nine Smith, that plus 533 Richard Coe still running for the lads. This one with Shorty taking the flag on the first race of the afternoon here at the Norfolk Arena. And it's 1.48 to Ian Redden. Another Norfolk Arena victory. Ashley Bell in the 262 coupe gets whipped around by him at the end of the back straight. So Bell still leading that to come round to get his finish. 509 Smith goes out now. There we are. Third the ball through. Mr. Starter, it's red. So on the circuit, please. We go red on heat one in the bangers. in his Lexus, of course that was a big one for him, uh, first time out and uh, well, in goes 721 Clarkie with the T-Bone shot to 579, Mr Clumsy down there 349 Noddy uh, attacking Peewee uh, in the big Cadillac Getting back on his way then, Galv, Calvin Gurley just managing to keep himself out of trouble there. Two oh six the Turkish also trying to sort himself out. He went out very early on and just can't find a gap to get back into the running. So 8.30 it is who uh, leads the way as uh, Turkish tries to rejoin and uh, just gets caught up with uh, 7.68 Calvin Gurley. So through goes stretching 8.30 leading the way. 89 Panda running in second place at the current time. Turkish uh, makes it across the raceway now in 2.06. Three Cully, yeah, clipping in there as 579 clubs are, yeah, and his rather bent jack now uh, spins around and about. So 160 wins uh, coming up through on the inside there. 174 Whipper has uh, got himself uh, into difficulties. So 89 Panda takes it up now as uh, 8.30 stretch drops out of the running, pass it up on the middle. So 137 Chilton, we think in uh, second place is 768 Gerling, uh, goes in on the nose of 206 Turkish. And he's lost the steering all together, he's just in one lock all the time, shuffling backwards and forwards. So Gurley getting a bit wide at the 89 Pandas uh, taking himself in down there at the end of the back straight. So the leader gone. 
and it could well be 99 who, uh, no, in fact 338 uh, the first one through and Panda, uh, well, Panda has rejoined the action, I think he's still there. So 89 Panda still there with the second and third right behind him, it's three to run next time. Stretch also there in fourth, so the top four together as they go down the back straight. It's 89 Panda, just a smidge ahead of 99, Richie Ahern. 137 Chilton there. Oh, and Chilton uh, drifts out uh, and clobbers uh, 174 Whipper. Drivers there and the scrap for the lead still going on at 99 the cheek and 89 Panda trip over each other. It's 8.30 stretch who uh, comes through. So big moments there as another one goes in. 7.79 Munch nailing uh, Noddy in turn. So Noddy on Chilton uh, and he gets it back from Munch. So the Prince and the Gladiators, uh, well and truly uh, at war in this one. 7-7-9 seven, seven, Munch then met in uh, the late Jack, he rejoins the running. 7-6-8 seven, Calvin Gurley limping on in the car to the state down the back straight. But it's 8-3-0 stretch. And now Panda comes back through there and Panda gets the win. So uh, Stretch uh, losing some time right at the end of that one as well. And uh, 99 Ahur and 89 Panda trip over each other once again down there in the uh, roadside turn after the flag. 768 Girling goes in on Ahur. And then uh, through they come. Mr. Starlet, thank you. It's Reds, please. We go red on circuit. Despite his damage, Sean 
Trackstar Gold Roof Championship Final. So a green flag goes down with Kieran Gray uh, sensing uh, the threat of late 68. Georgie Star there takes him right around straight to at the drop of the green. Start getting his own back though and takes uh, around 660. Uh, Danny Lamb, so the Burger Boy is gone. Spider up for Jamie Simpson that uh, goes out there. Straight as 309, Liam Gibson spins out the leader. So 119, Ben Coffs has gone. And it's into the lead then for Little Gibbard. So Gibson leads in 309. Trials down there. James Licorice, Chef, pushing wide for 123. Great, they both slap into the fence. Situations out around the race way. 364, the little ball has got caught up, goes in on the nose of 68, Jack Benfield. And uh, damp conditions certainly uh, catching out one or two of uh, these drivers. 51, then Bridge in, then down the buck 131, that's Charlie Barnes, that's 309, Gibson leads them down the back straight. 
309 Gibson lead in the field there. I think 131 Charlie Bart has come through to second place. <coughs> But Licorice should still give him a hard fight in that 51. It's James Licorice coming back through on the inside line. So great driving between those two. 131 Barnes now in there. Oh, and the Burger Boy gets caught up and goes in to uh, 68 Benfield. Those cars still uh, down there, but uh, still uh, signalling all is uh, okay with those drivers. It really is tricky now on the exit of turn number two. 309 Gibson making it look easy though as he goes through there. 2 1 2 uh, Jack Marion getting into uh, more uh, chaos. Keeping a very good eye there on that 68 Benfield. He's got plenty of uh, racing experience, not so much in the junior bangers. Certainly understands that everything about the highs and lows of short oval racing though, but out front 309, little Gibbo, he really is uh, taking this one to the rest of the field. Goes wide around the outside of Sam Evans there in 385, but uh, safely manages that move before uh, anything can go on into the turn. 93 Scooby there, takes around 2 on 2 Jack Marion, it's a wheel back by the looks of it uh, on the micro. Barnes getting back into the action early, 131 on 51, Licorice has had enough, Mr. Nice Guy is not going to race him anymore, he takes him around. So Licorice spins out one, that 31, Charlie Barnes down here on the home straight, and that could well mean that it's Cole Atkins, oh, Licorice gets it all wrong there, into the stricken car. So 131, Charlie Barnes goes out into the wall and voiding it. And it's getting uh, ever more difficult. 2-1-2, two, two, Jack Marion uh, in uh, to the pile once again there. But uh, they're just uh, about surviving in this one. And it's 309 Gibson now. Most of the uh, danger challenges uh, have fallen by the wayside now. And I think second place could well be 399 Atkins. And third could be the recovery Ben Cox in 119. That's uh, very much subject uh, to full confirmation. It's three laps to run next time, Mr. Starman. Three laps next time round. Licorice has been out once again down there in the roadside turn. Sam Evans uh, nearly uh, gets himself into difficulty trying to avoid running into it. Manages to collect it all back together. On he goes in the racing action. And now 309 Gibson uh, behind uh, 364. The little ball, one of the other main challenges we would have thought at the start of this race. But that went wrong for him uh, in uh, the early stages. 399 Atkins uh, racing on. And it's uh, between Simpson and Ben Cox, I think, for third place. Simpson uh, was certainly out in uh, the uh, turn two pile, which uh, ended the races for 32. Henderson at 322 store, 51 licorice. <coughs> A strong start to the race has uh, had two spins in the later stages for him. 385 Sam Evans has drifted out there clobbers the wall in the roadside turn and they're uh, dropping quite rapidly now. Back around then and the chequered flags that are awaiting and it's going to be gold roof victory for 3 0 9 Liam Gibson, Little Gibbo taking the first ever gold roof in the junior bangers. 51 licorice with a bit of damage now, wheels pointed in different directions and he goes out once again. 2 1 2 Jack Marion's crashed out right at the end there as well. And the remaining drivers coming through that uh, is uh, the uh, ones that have survived. Mr. Starler, thank you. It's Reds, please. On that one, we go Reds.
traditional bangers. Quite a few spinning out in the early moments. And Polly Reed there getting taken around by 81 uh, sometime. But a running mate uh, there. And uh, Polly uh, gets uh, the uh, spin around treatment on this occasion. Will Ogilvy uh, nails 3.49, Noddy down back straight there. But then gets taken out by 8.30 stretch. And it's uh, Paul Lamb in 6.60 who goes in on the nose of the Irishman. 27, the water boy also out there. And uh, 3.13, Cully has lost the wheel off the jack. Needs to try and track that down. Safe and it's 313 coming for Ben who has also safely exited the car. An 830 stretch comes through and the race leader. 925 Priest is in second. Oh, the leader's got caught up with Pratchett. And 925 Priest also going on the nose of the gladiator there. So uh, many of our front runners uh, getting uh, into trouble there. I think Stretch may well have uh, managed to rejoin in the lead. So big one there, 51, the Intimidator uh, blows up 349, Noddy there. 250, Ratcliffe uh, as well. And it's Reds uh, on that uh, circuit. We go Reds uh, out uh, on the raceway with. Uh, Concerned uh, with uh, one of the drivers down there in those uh, trains, uh, and there we go, uh, Reds uh, on this one. Uh, so the red flags uh, out there, uh, and uh, we get uh, the uh, red flags out. So field and back on the way there. And once again, it's Stretch uh, who leads them off in 8:30. Uh, one of the priests there uh, takes him. Uh, Paul Lamb very hard. And it's uh, 3 uh, 25 then, then doing the damage there. That's Craig Price. So it's at 9 punch, fires in that 791 spot down there.
Dutchman flicks it round and gets back into the running.
the second one, he's now getting caught up with Dan Derbyshire. So, 5, 6, 6, Palantir back up to uh, second spot with 3, 3, 8, to Terry Garrett takes him round. So, 3, 38, Garrett uh, could well be there for second now, 3, 28, Latham third, but he's 6, 7, 3, Darren Fendley at uh, the front of this race. So, Fendley a leader, 3, 38, Garrett second, 3, 28, Latham third. So still be right up but in the front rivers in this one. Three ninety gives an attacking one two six down Darmisha. Down the back straight Darmisha gets run by right, so not much but comes on the inside of all of the bow. And Bobble's now under five from Links in eleven and gets away from that incident. Rhino in six nine one uh, also tangled there. One one nine Cruncher and double one twenty six Darmisha. All of those managed to continue. He's 6 7 3, Fendley. He leads him through. 3 38 for Whitman. 3 2 out Latham. And one 32, Bubbles now spins out on turn number 4. Now 26, Darvish and out on turn number 4. Leads the having to go at Squirt in 5 7 2. Squirt manages to escape him that time into the right side turn. championship for 1500 bangers.
gets himself into the top of the early lap of Australian Five for Eric Dubon there with uh, Sam and Fun Burning in Brenner Berries at the two at the end of the machine of Phillips. So the rest of them sorting themselves out out front. 51 and Gavin Wing is at the leading the way. So it gets the lead 6 he'll have the young postman now. Stranded down the match right there. 51 lingering at the wing leads from 27 to 1. There were 316 seconds that went in third place. After that, at the number 12 machine in fourth place is Troy Comet. Oh, big moment there as they lead it to tackle it down on the home straight. 328 length and it's gone. As has 337, Garrett 566. Toby Pallet also won involved in that. circuit uh, with uh, the uh, 1500 uh, National Magazine all comers uh, number one. turn for the leading pack. 51 the gas are getting uh, squeezed down the wall there. And it's 88 Linden Stark, I think who comes through into the leaders. 396 uh, goes in on the nose uh, of uh, the dead car of Licorice. So the stranded car is launching. It's 88 Stark who comes through from 791 Spud. 27 the Wonder Boy about to go in very hard there is taken in by Treble 8 Lloyd Stark. So in that they go there. Eight side Stark attacking 51 Gavin Wing there. Oh 390 Gibson that blows up 27 the Wonder Boy down there. Gibson Morris who has done himself uh, quite a bit of damage as well. 51 Gavin Wing uh, has uh, a bit of a go on the back of him down the back straight. Takes him down there and buries him uh, into the uh, dead cars. So Wing uh, on his way once again there is 390 Gibson. Uh, Takes around at 564 and that is Shay Cooper. It's three to run next time round, Mr. Start of three to run next time for 88 start your race leader.
71 Ashland Woods there right in uh, fires uh, 51 uh, wing out wide towards the fence it doesn't want to be hanging around there for too long It is Stark who uh, comes through and takes uh, the chequered flag and the victory on that one and Spud! Spud uh, follows in uh, 337 Garrett uh, to the 51 machine of wing down there in the fence. 11 uh, Relixi uh, also getting on the back of Spud as well. Vincent going in 
going through the back wheel then now of the 925 machine the creeks.
some air and the scope's being uh, well and truly uh, blown up down the back straight. Quincy, he was running uh, high this one, he uh, drops out of the running as 747 Liam Hart follows in uh, the uh, 743 machine of Barton down there. 601 Bleak going in as well, it's three to run next time round, Mr. Starter, three to run next time.